Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn about the credit memo posting. So what is credit memo posting? So whenever we, uh, whenever organization purchased a material uh, that doesn't have a quality as expected or in other words, it's a damage. So organization need to return the goods to the vendor. Accordingly, we need to reduce the liability of vendor. For this purpose, we need to post the credit memo or in other word purchase written in SAP for posting credit memos document kg will be used for kg document type number range is 17 has assigned to the company code the same number range is already being used by document ka hence no need to maintain the number range separately same number range will be used by the document type K, A and K, G. So, so first step uh, before that, we need to create the uh, credit uh, goods written GL. Uh, so, first we will create in our SAP FS00. In asset, we will create good written. So, I'll just copy that. Good written. Just change the number 5. And here we will give the goods written only local balance g001 and then save this So now goods written GL we have created. So now the first is that first we will create invoice and from that we just found that there are some part of the you know, goods receipts are damaged. So now next step uh, we'll go and we'll check that create invoice. Uh, so here we will create the invoice. So we have a T code F-43 or FB60. So let's go to any of this T code system is getting hang okay lost the connection invoice and we will use the t code fb60 or f-43 let's go with f-43 and then date is 18 here we will select our vendor vendor is our a006 enter 75 and then we are creating invoice for rupees 75 and here your 40 credit is your vendor so it's 40 and raw material we bought that we are buying raw material from the vendor so here we'll star and then here plus enter that so now we'll go and document overview so 31 is your credit and 40 is your debit so just save this okay so now we found that after uh, 75, we found that the 25,000 goods are not good. So we have to book a written. We have to create a credit memo. Okay. Uh, just to reduce the vendor liability. So what now? So now what we'll do? We'll uh, go to this T code F-43 or FP60. FP. 65 sorry fb 65 enter so now uh, we will post the credit memo against the invoice 75000 and as i said that like we are thinking that uh, i mean after the verification we found that some 25000 goods is not accurate and we have to return to the vendor so just enter that it's 25000 credit memo raised and goods raw material you can select this goods written GL 25,000 text credit memo raised We will post so now this document has generated 
So now we'll go back in FPL1N and we'll check the how it is showing in the system. Execute. So now here we can see that 75,000 is there and your KG document is yours 25 and we have to make a payment for this 20 uh, sorry 50 only. So let's open another session and we will make a payment to this vendor is F-53 and here we will enter the date vendor is uh, sorry from bank account from which bank account we are going to make a payment we have to select this and the 50,000 is our outstanding and the vendor is our 8006 enter okay payment made okay so we will remove the discount so now it is uh, double click the 75 75 so that means it's showing the pending amount is 50 just uh, remove the discount also cash discount document overview save this so now again you can go back here you can just refresh your screen and you can see that no open item you can see in the cleared for 50,000 is just now we have cleared with the against this credit memo